Hello everyone, it's Heather K here with Bookables here to do another in my library haul. Um, before I start, I want to say one thing that you probably will probably not like. Which I know it's bad, but whatever. Um, my library hauls, I try to read all the books I get, but sometimes I just start to read them in and they're just not for me. Or sometimes I just don't even feel like reading them. I know this sounds completely awful and I don't do this all the time now, but sometimes I just... I don't know. Um, case in point, Imaginary Girls in my last, um, in my library. I tried to read it. I didn't really get into it. It was kind of creepy, and so I just stopped reading it. And I know I had a Nicholas Sparks novel in there, and I really attempted to read that. Like, I picked it up, and I was about to read it, and then I was like, oh, I've read so many Nicholas Sparks novels, and some of them were good, some of them were bad. I was just so mixed about it. I just didn't know. I'm just, so now I'm really trying to buckle down and like pick up books in the library that I know I will read. I, and I, these books right here, I know I will read all of them. But I'm sorry about that. I know you guys are probably expecting, you know, to hear things, what I thought. But I did read two of them out of the four I got last time. So at least I read half. <laughs> Which Beastly was pretty good, actually. I was quite surprised. I liked the book way better than the movie. And Art Geeks and Prom Queens was really good too. It was more like a Mean Girls to me, like the movie Mean Girls. And just go ahead and show you what I got this this time. <laughs> um, this, I don't know why, I never really pick up books by genres and just stick with a genre like the readables does. I know every month she picks up um, books and you know one month it could be horror, one month it could be dystopian, one month it could be books turned into movies, all that jazz. She's very good with I normally don't do that, but I had a, I don't know, I didn't realize I picked up a complete genre of the same, or books of the same genre until after I left the library. <laughs> so, and this was kind of inspired by Grazing Pages, Katie, I think that's her name, Katie, because um, she did a chiclet video and I was like, man, it's been a while since I've really read some really good chiclet. So I was like, I'll just get some. And then I got all of Chiclet. So thank you, Grazing Pages. You have inspired me to get Chiclet. And all the books she recommended were either, some of them were at my library, but were checked out, so I had to wait. Or some of them had a request, which is going to take a while. Or some of them just weren't at my library. So sorry, none of these are books that you have on your Chiclet, ch chiclet video, but they're on my library list if possible. <laughs> All right, enough talking, I will just get straight into it. The first one I got is called, it's quite a long title, it's called Bitter is the New Black, Confessions of a Consenting, Egonomical, Self-Centered, Smart Ass, or Why You Should Never Carry a Prada Bag to the Unemployment Office, and this is by Jen Lancaster. Now, I looked at this book on Goodreads, and I really liked it. I liked the description of it. This is like her memoir, so she's known as Jennifer in this book. This is basically this author's life. She just made it, you know, into fiction and she put a few things in there for the sake of, you know, making a good story. But it's basically what the what the title says that it's about. A rich spool girl who loses all of her money and, you know, has to start from scratch and it's, you know, all about that. Sorry, that was my phone. It always happens in these videos. I don't know why. I don't plan it. Um, but it looks really good. I somewhat like girls like that um that start off really you kind of do not like them at all because they're so vapid and so egotistical you're like oh my gosh but I'm really hoping this book will you know show the depth behind her and you know she'll learn to grow and she'll learn to you know like the not so expensive things in life so hopefully that'll happen <laughs> So I'm reading this one now. I promise to finish it. I promise I finish all of these books, not unless they completely bore me, but I will give them a very fair chance. <laughs> the next book I got is called Last Night at Chateau Marmont by Lauren Weinsberger. Now I have read one of Lauren's books before, it's The Wars Prada, and I love that book. I love the movie as well, so I'm hoping to like this. This book is basically about a girl named Brooke, and she was drawn to this musician guy named Julian, and um, he, they, you know, they got married and she's balancing two different jobs as, I think it's a nutritionist at, in the roughly of New York, and, and a consultant to a, like a prep school or something like that. And finally gets signed to Sony, I believe, and I think Chateau Marmont is a, like a really cool place, like a, I don't know, what's like a manor or something, but um, he gets, starts to get really famous, he's, his big breaks, he gets 
perform on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno and then it gets a tour with Maroon 5 and a Grammy performance and then tabloid, tabloids start um, heating up about Julian and so, what's her name? Brooke, you know, his wife is starting to get concerned and you know, it's. I think this is going to be a really good book to show you how, you know, celebrity in real life really is like. I've, I've always wanted to read a book that, you know, really truly depicts how celebrity marriages can sometimes fall apart, or not even celebrity marriages, just when you're married to someone who is famous but you're not at all, and how just the tabloids and the media can affect that. So hopefully this will be good. Two books I got are Gossip Girl books by, I cannot ever pronounce her name, Cecilia Von Zigazar. So, Cecilia Von Z, let's just say that. I've, I already own one Gossip Girl book, and it's called You're the One That I Want. And I know these are somewhat out of order. My library only had, they had the third one from, they didn't have the first or second one. And I just could not wait because I've been getting on a, I've always liked the show Gossip Girl. And, um, I kind of fade in, fade out watching it and not watching it, but um, I'm getting really strong into it again this time. I don't know why. Yes, I do know why. I hope this is not going to be a huge blender for everybody, but I am watching mainly because I want to see Blair and Dan get together because they would make such an amazing couple. Oh my gosh. I used to be a huge play Blair and Chuck um, fan, but Chuck is just so like... I feel like Chuck acts like he's 50 and he's only like 22 or something like that. I don't know how old they are, but I just feel like he's always in a suit. I think Dan is, first of all, he is so freaking hot. Like, wow, he is beautiful. And I think just Dan and Blair are so smart and they're so witty. They're just, they are a perfect for each other. I think, I think even I was reading a article that, um, what's the guy that plays Dan? Penn? Penn Bagley? Something like that? Penn? I think. But they asked him who do they, does he think Blair's um, dance soulmate is? And he said, probably Blair. He said no. Then he said, definitely Blair. He said that his scenes with Leighton Meester, who plays Bear, are, are the most fun scenes he's ever, you know, been. He just says they have a pull towards each other. And he's so freaking right. Like, it was just amazing. Now, I know the books are the complete 180 of the show. I've read some of them before, and I do like them actually a lot. I know in the book that's all it's all about Blair and Serena and Nate. It's those constant three, and Chuck's really not even in the books at all, and Dan's kind of somewhere in the middle. So I know you don't have to comment and say that's definitely not what happens in the book, Heather. I know, I know, but I can live with that. But I, as far as the TV show goes, they've implemented Chuck so much. They've gone off the book storyline so much. Why not add some Blair and Dan because that, and you, I'm not alone, there's tons and tons and tons of people that want them together. So if you are a Blair and Dan shipper, let me know because we can squeal together if they ever kiss again because they should. Oh my gosh, they should. <sighs> I just can't wait for her to get rid of that Louis guy and Chuck and get with Dan, the real man out of all of them. Okay, <laughs> enough about that. I know I rant all the time. I'm sure you're tired of it, but it is what it is. <laughs> the ones I did get are Because I'm Worth It, which I believe is the third one. Let me see. No, it's actually the fourth one. It's the fourth one. And then I got I Like It Like That, which is the fifth one. And I have read You're the One That I Want right after that, so I'm kind of reading them out of order. I don't know why. I picked this up a very, very long time ago. I plan on getting the whole Gossip Girl series to own, but I couldn't wait because the show, honestly. So I just wanted to read them. Um, okay, if you don't know anything about the Gossip Girl series, I'll tell you about it now. Um, our story really revolves around two girls, and one is Serena. Each one of the books has a different type of thing going on. Like, I think... One of them's about getting college acceptance letters, one of them's about, you know, Fashion Week or something like that. But they're very, very good books, I believe. And it just shows, goes to show you, like, you know, how really vapid and mean girls really are up in the Upper East Side. And I know, <laughs> I, I don't like Serena at all in this show. I never have. I've always liked Blair. I don't know why. I usually do not like evil girls, but I think Blair has got the heart of gold underneath it all, and I think the writers are doing an excellent job of showing that finally. 
that she's maturing and coming as her own and becoming a full person, not, you know, using scheming to get her way, because I do love that about Blair, though. I don't know why I love Blair so much. I love Blair and Dan. I just love them. Anyway, um, enough of all that. I'm sure that Gossip Girl spiel was like four minutes long. Sorry. But um, that is all I got in my library this week, and I promise I will read all of these. I promise, 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 promise. And I will let you know how they are, and if both of these Gossip Girls are really good, I'm just going to try to get the whole series and read them and do a series review for you, because I love me some Gossip Girl. What are you guys getting in your library this week, this month? Yada yada. I know Story Siren does that. She does it way better. I'm not trying to copy her at all. But, you know, if you visit your library, let me know and let me know what you got. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.